Let's unbox and assemble the C-17 transport aircraft. Scene one, Apple, take one. This is what you're gonna get when you open the box. So you have your instruction manual. It looks like your, uh, your main wing. Then you have your, your fuselage. And by the way, your battery is right there. Then you have your, uh, looks to be your tail. Your tail fin. And this looks to be your, uh, your board. And then you have, uh, you have all four of your, uh, your motors. I'm gonna try to get all of this in the camera. I think what I'm gonna have to do is maybe move some of this like to the side. All right, so now we have these uh, four motors. Okay, now that's everything on that side. So when we flip it over, got your radio. Let's stick that out. So here's your radio. Then you have what appears to be spare parts. So hang on a second here. Okay, we're gonna cut this out. So you got your little parts here, not necessarily spare parts, just parts you're gonna need to assemble it. Like you got your uh, your uh, rotors and everything in here, but we'll get into that. And then finally, you have what appears to be uh, your charger and which you're gonna have to hook up to your uh, board. This will be your motor and your uh, your prop, your main, uh, well, let me see how many props, okay. So this will be both of your props here. So we'll get into that also. And that pretty much, uh, let me see if I can give you everything that's in here. Hang on a second. All right, so with the uh, fuselage, and your main wing. This will be everything that will come inside of the box. In our first step, we're gonna take our engines and mount them to the other part of the engine. We wanna put a drop of glue on here. Then we wanna take our engine here and just put it on here. Hold that for a second and then set it aside. And repeat the process for all four. In our next step, we're gonna install the engines to the main wing. So what we wanna do is we wanna take us some glue and we wanna put it right here, just a small amount. And that's actually too much. And then we want to put our engine on top of our main wing. Now make sure that when you do it, that this part goes right here. And you'll see the little groove here. Make sure that's nice and snug. Okay. Then we're going to repeat the process for the remainder of the engines. Our next step is kind of tricky. What they want you to do is they want you to take these engine mounts and they want you to put them on the top of the wing and the engine. However, you have to put them. Let me explain. <laughs> Let me try to explain. It goes square, round, round, square. If you look at the wing, if you look at the wing, very very closely it'll actually help you because you'll see like a kind of squarish looking uh you know and then it'll be kind of round 
and then round again and then kind of square and then you would match that up with these your mouths and as you can see one is kind of squarish one is kind of roundish so I just kind of laid them out in the direction that they should go and the round ones are on the inside the square ones are on the outside so in the next step we're going to uh, they want you to put the glue in here but I think it's just a lot easier to just take the glue and then just go ahead and stick it on in the direction that it'll go like this is the squarish one here and here's the mounts on the engines now you're gonna have to work with that a little bit because as you can see I wasn't able to get like a perfect fit uh, it's really balancing it out to keep in your um, engines actually straight but for what it's worth um, if you're patient you know it should work out and then you know just let it dry for about five minutes next we want to install our winglets just want to take your main wing and when you turn it upside down you'll see grooves on the tips and then we'll just take our winglets actually we'll take a little glue and we'll put a little glue on each end a little glue here and then we'll take our winglet and we'll put it there right under there Alright, and then we'll do the same on the other side. In our next step, we're going to install the motors. Now, one of your motors has a red and blue wire, the other one has a uh, black and white wire. What you have to do is you have to put glue in the slots. One is marked uh, R for right. The other one is L for left. Now they didn't really put anything on the motors themselves. However, the directions are telling you that the left propeller must face to the left motor slot. My guess that's a translation. We are in luck though, because on the board, uh, they're making it pretty straightforward where you have your, uh, your red connector and then your white connector. So what we're going to do, my best guess is that the black and white will go into the uh, right slot. So we're going to put a generous amount of glue in here. Then we're going to take our motor with the black and white wire. We're going to sit it right in here. We're going to hold that in there and let that glue set for a second. And then we have to take these wires and we're going to run these wires into this slot here. Okay, we have the left and right motors glued on, but what we're going to do is we're going to back that up with some tape and we uh, loosely ran the wires down the uh, wire slots. So what we're going to do is we're going to take us some tape. We're going to secure these wires. Now I'm actually going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to put uh, a backup where I glued the motors on because I really want those to be secure. And then we're going to let this dry for a few minutes and tuck this down and, you know, clean everything up. And then we're going to go on to our next step. Now you want to grab your fuselage and your glue and you're going to put some glue along your fuselage. That's kind of sloppy. Then you want to take your wires. Well, actually, you want to set your fuselage aside. 
and you want to take uh, your wing. Now, it may be a good idea to uh, get these wires going here. I didn't put glue on the wires because I kind of wanted to um, to work with them. And then our next step, we're going to take our wires and we're going to tuck them in our, the top of our fuselage. And of course, you know what, we're going to put a little bit more glue on the inside of the wing, just a little. And a little bit here, not much. Now we got our wires and we're going to put our wires through the top of that hole and in the process we're going to try to put this thing together. Next we're going to take the vertical and horizontal tails and we're going to assemble these. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our glue and we're going to put some right on our vertical tail. Then we're going to put that on our horizontal tail. Okay. Make sure we put it in the right direction. All right. Oops, there we go. Okay, now we wanna take our vertical tail Put some glue on that. Then we're going to install that on our fuselage, like so. You can see the groove right there, so. And she'll just go, she'll go in there nice and snug. Next, we want to install our PCB board and that will be easy because we put the wires in earlier through the top of our fuselage and here you have your white connector and your red connector and you'll just simply plug them in to the red slot here and the white slot there. Now since that's going to be a tight fit I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then I'm going to take a, a small amount of glue and line the wall here and then we'll go ahead and install this this way now make sure that your battery bay opens from the front because this slot right here is where you're going to be putting your battery and here's your completed c17 project the only thing you're going to have left over are your spare props your landing gear which is optional nicks and knack that go along with the landing gear your battery charger and a 3.7 volt, 300 milliamp battery. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this unboxing and assembly of the C-17 transport plane. Thanks for watching.